All right, so this is another video about how to convert your money into bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies to bitcoins. I'm going to show you the best way to do it. Um, as you remember from my first tutorial, um, where we started make, making these accounts, if you haven't made these accounts, just, just watch the last one. It's pretty simple. All you do is make the accounts and set up two factor authentication. All right, so. If you want to exchange your cryptocurrencies to other currencies or actually buy cryptocurrencies so let's say you got fifty dollars here you'll get this amount of ethereum the best way to do is through changely so what once you once you've made an account it's pretty pretty simple to get started i'll show you an example of how to do it so the reason why you need a local bitcoins account is so let's say you mind your your coins and you have them over here so let's say i have them in xmr so my coins are in xmr here for example monero so let's say for example i put this amount over here i don't have enough now but it's not going to work but let me just show you so what what you want to do is it's going to ask you for a local bitcoins deposit address and you probably want to put in in this one or you can make a private wallet. I'll probably make another tour to do that. It's, it's, um, it's a bit more complicated. You can um, store it on a USB or something like that. Or just on your local desktop. There's a process to making a private Bitcoin account without doing it through a website. I want to show you how to do that in another tutorial. So here's an example of how to convert your Bitcoins. I mean your cryptocurrency from one currency. So any of these. You can even use dollars, so it's just any of these. It's quite a lot of here. Um, even you can buy with dollars as well, and you can convert it to anything you want here. Unfortunately, you can't just convert it to dollars because it's it's not that easy. Which is why, if you have it here, you can sell them over here. All right. There's other exchanges as well, but local is pretty good. You can. If that's why, I recommend you send them here, and then if you want to sell it, sell it here. Or just, or just, or you can just keep the bitcoins, or you can send them to another account <coughs> and sell it through. All right, so here, let's say we just click exchange. So, do, 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 XMR to Ethereum, whatever. Oh, oh my, oh, I should have clicked Bitcoin. XMR to BC, it tells you it takes about five to 30, to 30 minutes. Hope you can't hear the chair, it's pretty loud, but it fix up. So, it's five to 30 minutes to send it. And then here's where you here's where you just um you choose your destination address. Now, once that happens, the reason why mining gate actually works in conjunction with Changely. So when you when you want to make the transfer, what it does is it creates an invoice in your account. See, as you can see here, Changely transactions. These are my past transactions. So it's going to create an invoice, you come back here, you click pay, it might ask you for two-factor authentication code. You come back here and then it's going to send it. So, yeah, see this amount is too small, so you need about $35 before you can actually um, send some money. You need a minimum amount, otherwise you might actually lose um, some money. So, that's pretty much all, all, the, all there is to it. But you just, I just want you to understand that the um, these accounts they kind of work, they work together. That's why it's good to do with mining gate. Um, all you have to do is just press pay, boom, and it just does it all here. The support as well. Yeah. So that's that's how you do it. Or if you have bitcoins from another account, uh, you can do you can do the same thing here as well. Send to confirmation, and um, yeah, I think if you got it from from another account, you can basically just send it through that platform. So you can just do like a transfer. Let's say, let's say you have you have your bitcoins in, you want to convert it back to Monero. What you can do is you can just put the receiving bitcoin address. They're gonna give you a receiving address here. You just put that there, put the amount, and you send it. 
I hope that's simple to understand. So, so with Mindgate, it creates an invoice for you because they work together. Uh, the companies do. With other um, other websites, you're gonna have to do it manually through here. So you're gonna have to really check the check the amount. Make sure you always double double check the amount um, that you want to send. So always don't just like leave it here because they might charge you high. So just double check it through Bitcoin to dollar calculator or dollar to Bitcoin calculator. Just do double check it so that you know you're not sending more or less. Um, yeah, don't ask me that. All right, I'm I'm, a tr I'm trying to keep this video short. So my next my next video is going to be part two of the Bitcoin Millionaire series. I'm going to show you how to start mining bitcoins. So I just wanted to clear this up so you just know how to actually change um, your currencies from one to bit one one to another actually because you you got a whole bunch here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. Make sure so just just sign up on Changely. Um, a mining gate and get yourself a local bitcoins account you can use other kind of like blockchain.info stuff like that here we got some con conversion rates but just just try try and find other calculators and actually compare because they do add a fee but don't forget this is literally they always have the best rate over here that's why i trust them as well um they're like they're basically the number one um currency converse so don't worry about all right you don't have bitcoins because you can actually mine other currencies like i said in the last video at a lower price so you're making a profit and then you can still change it to bitcoin so there's no point mining bitcoin it's, it's not pro it's just not not that profitable it's much better to just mine other currencies and just kind of at a lower price cheaper rate using less compute power and just convert that to bitcoin using change date and you got the exact same end result literally you could be mining this decent cryptocurrencies and just convert it to bitcoin look just boom boom get it here sell it local and you're done so i think that's all there is to this video it's, it's very simple um see these are all the other currencies you can charge these are just little fees that they they just take one percent um i guess like a rate they charge like one percent when you do just just choose um which one do you choose let me see so we got the default yeah choose the pp lns that's the one that's the one you should go with obviously it's a one percent you don't want to pay 1.5 let's choose pp lns and that's all there is for this video oh yeah just just um, follow my instagram as well and join the facebook group for any questions and stuff like that so just follow me over here these are my social accounts and the facebook group you can come and ask questions i'm also going to be creating a private group soon where i'll be uploading some videos just for people and doing some con consultations as well um, this is going to be like a private group it's going to be a membership so let's say for about um, i'll probably put in the price soon or whatever but if, if you sign up here i'm add you to the email list i'll probably send you an update all right but I'm also going to post videos here as well, so don't don't get me wrong. There's still going to be videos that I'm posting here that I don't put on YouTube. But I'm going to create a membership group with just some very, like, exclusive techniques and stuff like that. Um, that's going to be, like, a membership-based thing. I probably won't be accepting, like, crazy amount of people, just, like, because maybe, like, 10, 10, 20 people max. So that it doesn't get crowded and I can actually help out the people. Alright, so this is the group you can join for now. And that's my 10 minute mark. I wanted to keep it a 10 minute video. So, probably a new video coming out tomorrow. I'm trying to do one video a day. 
and that's all there is so peace out